When you think about talk shows, you think about how they're hilarious, they have fun and memorable moments, and that above all else, they help you show off a side of your favorite celebrities that you have never seen before. But sometimes, things do get a bit awkward, and when it does, it can get a bit painful to watch. Sometimes it's the host making the guest uncomfortable, sometimes it's the guest making the host uncomfortable. So allow us to show you the top six times talk show hosts made celebrities uncomfortable and vice versa. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Just a reminder about our new giveaway. We're giving away the new iPad Pro or the new iMac Pro. The choice is yours. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, and make sure you're subscribed. It's that simple. Number six, Kanye West on Ellen. I didn't take it as a joke. It ain't no joke, as Rakim said. It ain't no joke. When it comes to Kanye West, you know exactly what to expect from him, and yet you also never know what to expect from him because he has bipolar disorder and he refuses treatment to try and get better. Thus, every single time he does an interview or a talk show, things can get ugly very quickly. Such as when he appeared on the Ellen DeGeneres show. Everything started out great, to be honest, and then Ellen went and asked a very simple question to Kanye. Do you regret any of your Twitter posts? Now this question was poignant because Kanye has started to unravel around this time mentally due to his bipolar disorder. At times he'd be fine, and at other times he would do massive rants that are still talked about today. So the question was fair and just. Kanye answered with a six minute rant. He talked about his career in music, fashion, his race, the media, and more. And he kept talking and talking and talking. He would talk to Ellen, talk to the camera, talk to the audience, and on and on and on. Ellen couldn't get a word in edgewise, and at one point looked at the camera and shrugged because she knew she couldn't do anything. It was long, it got dark at times, and both Ellen and the audience had to just sit there and endure it because it wouldn't stop. This isn't an awkward moment, it's a warning to all talk show hosts out there. Don't bring on Kanye unless you know you can contain him. And no one can contain Kanye West. Number five, Katy Perry on The Ellen Show. Um, well, I think they all have like girlfriends and baby mamas, so I'm not coming for any of them. When you're a talk show host, you have to try and remember a lot of things, especially in regards to the guests you have on your show, and that can lead towards some awkward moments if you forget certain things, such as one time where Ellen DeGeneres made a big blunder while talking with singer Katy Perry. One time she brought Perry onto the show to play a Would You Rather game, and one of the questions was about two celebrities that she would want to marry. Perry went, do I have to get married again? And really, you know, kind of played it up for the crowd. Ellen was confused by the statement and somehow forgot that Perry was once married to actor and comedian Russell Brand. And Katie was flat out shocked about the memory lapse, even noting, remember, you gave me some wedding gifts on this show, to which suddenly the memory started flowing back to her. Now the funniest part of all this was that Perry mentioned to the people behind the scenes to cut this part of the interview out, but clearly that did not happen. Now can we blame Ellen in full for forgetting this? Well, in this case, yes, but mainly because she gave Katy Perry gifts on the show and somehow forgot about someone she calls a dear friend having a previous marriage. Not your best moment, Ellen. Number 4, Jim Carrey during a red carpet event. Here's Uplifting. the thing, it's not our world. None That's of this is key. real? Nope. nope. So you're just passing We don't through. matter. We don't matter. Oh. This awkward moment was on a red carpet show, but trust us when we say the awkwardness of the moment really ensures its place on this list. Jim Carrey was at one time one of the funniest men in Hollywood, doing all sorts of great roles and making audiences laugh all over the world. And then kind of had of a bit of a mental break, and by break I mean he kind of felt like he broke through the fourth wall of life to the extent that he began to chastise Hollywood for what he felt it was and did some really kind of awkward things. But in terms of interviews, the one that everyone remembers was when Jim Carrey suddenly appeared at a show celebrating icons and he wasn't having any of it. There's no meaning to any of this, so I wanted to find the most meaningless thing that I could to come and join and here I am. You have gotta admit, it's pretty meaningless. When the interviewer tried to prove why it was meaningful, noting that it was about icons, which Jim Carrey definitely is, he retorted with, 
boy that is just the absolute lowest aiming you know possibility that we can even come up with it's like icons do you believe in icons i don't believe in personalities i don't believe that you exist but there's a wonderful fragrance in the air yeah i don't believe in icons i don't believe in personalities I believe that peace lies beyond personality, beyond invention of the skies, beyond the red S that you wear in your chest that makes bullets bounce off. I believe that it's deeper than that. So yeah, that happened and it was really weird and we feel bad for the lady interviewing him because she thought she had the interview of the night and she did just in the absolute worst way. Number three, R. Kelly with Gail King. R. Kelly was once a music legend at one point in time, but then his very own terrible choices led to him being exiled from the music community as well as being targeted by many for his treatment of women. This in turn inspired a documentary series called Surviving R. Kelly, and R. Kelly wasn't too happy about that at all. To that end, he reached out to Gail King at CBS News to do an interview with him, which would be fine if he would have stayed calm throughout it. He didn't. Gail showed her composure though by just sitting there throughout the outburst and letting him rage, even though she didn't see this particular act of aggression coming. I can see it escalating, but I didn't think he was going to jump out of his chair. Even when he jumped out of the chair, I have to say, I didn't think he was going to do anything to me. This is not me, y'all. I'm fighting for my life. Y'all kill me with this It's just that he was extremely emotional and extremely worked up. Despite R. Kelly being unhinged, Gail did everything she could to save the interview, which shows her class versus R. Kelly's. I've had people get irritated, but no, I've never had that happen to me before. I can't say that I know how to handle this kind of thing or that I was prepared for this kind of thing because I wasn't expecting it. I just knew that I wanted to save that interview and I wanted to do whatever I could to save it without getting out of my chair. This moment really sealed R. Kelly's fate as he proved he was nothing more than a rage-filled man angry that people didn't like his life. And you won't be hearing more of him outside of people saying how bad he is, which in this case is just, well, perfectly justified. Number two, Jessica Simpson on Ellen. I have two beautiful children. Yep. And I'm not having That's a third. That's it. Yeah, it, well, because- <laughs> Jessica Simpson is another celebrity who has had an interesting ride in terms of her fame, and she's had a lot of mental and personal issues that she's had to work out, which was proven in bulk one time when she went on to Ellen's show. You know that something is very wrong when the person who is getting interviewed cannot put sentences together. Jessica seemed very out of breath and was even slurring her words like she was drunk or something. Her answers were usually incoherent or just didn't make sense. It got so bad that Ellen couldn't even keep a straight face. She laughed continuously at Simpson's topics and answers and had to look at the camera several times to let the audience know that she had no idea what was going on. And when Ellen poked fun at Simpson, she didn't even seem to notice. Like when Ellen noted, you somehow have a billion dollar fashion empire which Jessica laughed off and said, it can happen to anybody. No, Jessica, it can't, that's the point. Eventually, Ellen had to pull the plug on the interview, not just to save face, but frankly, to save some sanity. Jessica Simpson recently admitted what happened on that cringy and very awkward interview. She was indeed drunk before she went on to the show. I can't even watch the interview, she told Today host Hoda on Wednesday. It was a weak moment for me and I wasn't in the right place. I had started to spiral and I couldn't catch up with myself and that was with alcohol. Number one, Cara Delevingne with the Good Day Crew. No, no, I think it's just you. I think it probably is us. Yeah. <laughs> well, then on that note... We figured as much. What can make an interview really awkward sometimes is the host of the show going full jerk on the person that they are interviewing, such as when it happened to Cara Delevingne. Cara is an actress of some renown, including being the villain of the film Suicide Squad from DC Comics and Warner Brothers. During an interview with the Good Day crew, an anchor noticed that she wasn't very excited to talk about the film Paper Towns, and he flat out asked her if she was exhausted from doing the movie promotion circuit. And he then flat out asked her, you seem a little irritated, we'll let you take a little nap and maybe get a Red Bull. She had a very visible and clearly awake reaction to that, because that statement was all kinds of wrong and rude. And she was definitely right to be angry because that was just a pathetic way to treat a guest and it was definitely awkward after that. So what do you think? What do you think of these times when talk shows get a bit uncomfortable because the guest or their host? Which of these instances do you find the most shocking? Which ones do you go and look at and go, yeah, I can see that happening. Do you have any other instances where things get a bit awkward on the talk shows? 
Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the channel. Just a reminder about our new giveaway. We're giving away the new iPad Pro or the new iMac Pro. The choice is yours. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, and make sure you're subscribed. It's that simple.